So this is how we want the cut file to end up. Um, this is one continuous shape that's been joined together. So that's a, sort of where we're trying to get to. And this, of course, is, is where we're starting off. And this is where we need to um, really work very, very closely and precisely and carefully. And we need to use the slice tool. Now, I've already started to slice this circle up. So you can see that there's a gap there between these two lines. And what I did there was I selected the shape and I used the path eraser tool and I broke the path up and then I can uh, choose the parts that I want to delete. So I can go to delete anchor point here and I can, uh, where's that? And then I can get rid of the parts that I don't want. Um, and we are going to need to break the circle down here as well because of course we want that to flow into that next shape so if we click on that line and use the eraser tool again I'm going to come nice in and close there so that, that line's broken there and zoom out a little bit and then I know that if I click on this part um, again zoom out a little bit more that should really only have that top part of the selection selected and if I press delete and delete again then I'm going to get rid of that. And that's how you do it. You have to go to each of the junctions, you have to break them and delete the parts you don't need. And then the final part involves joining the lines together um, so that the cut file is one long continuous file. And you'll see with this line that I've already done that. So I've already managed to join, join those two lines together and that's what we're looking for. Um, here, we haven't quite done it yet. So you can see that these are, even though they look uh, like they're the same line, they're actually not exactly joined together. Now, it wouldn't really matter for the purpose of the uh, laser cutter because actually where they're overlapping each other, you're going to cut through the material. But you don't want to be cutting the material ever twice if you can help it. So you need to make sure you do it properly and you get the pen tool and then you click on each end of the anchor point and you join them together and they then become one continuous line. And if you do that throughout the whole design, you will then eventually end up with uh, this. Now, the last thing to show you is just at the bottom here. Um, so when you get to that point, what I've done here is, and I've shown you this in a pre previous video, is I have drawn a rectangle over the top of the circle um, and this is the line at which I want it to cut and so again going back to my pathfinder tool I can use uh, this really handy minus front tool to uh, cut that away and I can do the same with that one I just need to draw a rectangle again over the top of that and delete that and then I can get rid of any parts that I don't need and eventually you end up with a single cut file like so.